Good morning class and today let's look at the forces review package project. This is going to be part of our final test quote quote um, that we're going to have on our forces chapter. Now you might look at this and be like holy moly there is so much to do and you're right this is a bigger project but you get to use the entire week and I am not assigning any work for Wednesday so this is your only physics assignment. I recommend that you break this down into three or four pieces to help you keep on top of it without feeling overwhelmed. Today, I'm going to go over possible examples that you might make for the theory section and what it might look like. Um, and in later videos, I'll go over particular examples that might show up in the application section. So as we go through the week, you'll be able to see what sort of things I've done and be able to make your own examples to follow that. So today we're just going to look at our review rubric for our theory section. Taking a look here, we're going to need to use Newton's first law, Newton's second law, Newton's third law. We're going to need to state the law and make up a scenario that demonstrates it. And then we're going to have to make one problem from the force concept inventory the link will be attached below in the video description that you will choose to write out, provide what the answer is, and explain why that's the answer. All right, let's see what sort of thing could I be looking for. So here we go, review project examples, Newton's first law. So here I would begin writing, what is Newton's first law? Well, Newton's first law was all about an object in motion maintains its current motion unless an unbalanced force acts on it. Now that's not the first law in a textbook definition, but this is a way for me to understand it in my own words, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's take a look at what sort of thing is happening with our situation. Our Newton's first law situation. A toothbrush is floating in space and it gets pushed for five seconds by an astronaut. Where did that come from? What was that? Well, I just made up a situation that I think might be able to demonstrate Newton's first law. Newton's first law here is about an object maintains its current motion unless there's an unbalanced force on it. So Let's consider the situation. I made up a situation about a toothbrush in space and I said, hey, an astronaut will push it. So what's gonna happen here for Newton's first law? Well, I notice the astronaut is pushing it for five seconds. This tells me that according to Newton's first law, is there an unbalanced force on it? There definitely is. That means it's not maintaining its current motion. So that means Newton's first law tells me two things. Thing one, while the astronaut pushes, the toothbrush will accelerate. And thing two is about when the astronaut isn't pushing. And Newton's first law tells us that it will maintain its motion. In other words, it will move at constant velocity. So this is a sort of thing that I'd be looking for for Newton's first law. We see Newton's first law and I state it in my own words. And in the second, I provide a situation and then I provide a couple points, maybe a couple ideas on how Newton's first law applies to this situation. I hope this is helpful. I'm gonna provide more examples tomorrow and throughout the week to help you keep on track while doing this project. Have a good day.